Looking for cool toys like the one seen in this review? You can shop thousands of action figures, statues, busts, replicas, costumes, graphic novels, and much more at Big Bad Toy Store. Just click the link in the description below this video. Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Figure Arts Green Ranger from Bandai and Tamashi Nations. That's right, since I already took a look at the amazing SH Figure Arts Red Ranger, you knew I had to also take a look at the Green Ranger, which was released around the same time. Now, the Green Ranger was always one of my favorite looking costumes from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers run, so I am incredibly excited to get this figure right out the gate. So let's check him out. The Green Ranger comes in the same window box packaging that fully showcases the figure and his accessories with a really great metallic gold deco and an image of the Green Ranger figure along the left hand side. The back of that box just shows off some of the various posing that you can get out of this particular figure, and also features a look at the accessories that are included. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop this guy out of the packaging and get a closer look at him. Now, if you've already seen my Red Ranger review from this same SH Figure Arts line, then you already pretty much know exactly what to expect when it comes to the build of the figure. The body is pretty much exactly the same on here, just with a little bit of a different paint job and a few extra additions. One of those extra additions, of course, is the gold harness that he is wearing over his shoulders there. That gold armor is done very nicely. It's got this kind of metallic gold paint job with some really great black detailing on there, and it just looks terrific. It really makes the Green Ranger stand out from the rest of the Rangers, and it's one of the things I always loved about this particular costume. Now, this is a separate piece over the main body, but it's not meant to be removable. It does stay on the figure there. You will notice that his upper arms are different as well because he's got the gold bands that wrap around his arms. Those are part of the sculpt. The rest of the details on this figure are very nicely done. He's got a very bright and colorful paint job and it's very crisp and clean. I don't have any mistakes or messes or anything like that on this particular figure. And you can see that the way his uh, boots and his gloves are designed, they've got that nice same shiny gold band that kind of wraps around the end of them that matches with that armor. And then he just kind of has the green points as opposed to the diamond shapes that we've seen on the Red Ranger. Now you'll notice that his little white belt there has the Morpher right in the center. Of course, the Green Ranger's Morpher is gold in color, and it's got a really nice little sculpt of detail on there, because not only is the paint job really nice, but even the amount of detailing done, because you can see the gold power coin in the center even has sculpting on it to resemble the actual power coin for the Green Ranger. I think that is incredibly cool. And then, of course, we come to the best part of the sculpt, which is the Green Ranger's helmet. Now, that's the one thing that really differentiates all of these Rangers, is the fact that their helmets are all sculpted differently. And this Green Ranger here, once again, perfectly captures the look of the way this character appeared in the TV series. It's got a great paint job, and the green of the helmet is done in a much shinier, glossier plastic, so it looks more like a helmet rather than the cloth pieces of his clothing. It's got a great silver trim around the visor there, as well as the silver mouth, and even has a little golden red kind of diamond right there in the center between the eyes. It's a great look. Overall, amazing sculpt with some really nice painted details. So if you're not familiar with the SH Figure Arts line, let's go ahead and run down the articulation on this guy so you know what to expect. The head is on a beautiful ball joint, so it's able to roll all the way around, turn left, right, forward, backward, and the neck itself is also articulated, so you'll get a great range of movement. He's got ball jointed shoulders, and the armor doesn't really hinder it all too bad, it's pretty good. He's got great double joints at the elbows there for a great range of movement. He's got swivels at the wrists, as well as little hinge joints at the wrists. 
He's got great torso cut articulation, so you can see his torso rocks all the way around, his waist twists. That belt is a separate piece, so it doesn't get in the way of the movement. He's got great double ball joints at the thighs there, so legs can move outwards, forwards, backwards, swivel, double joints at the knees, so you get a great range of motion there. Swivels at the ankle, as well as standard ankle joints, ankle rockers, and toe cut articulation. So there is an amazing amount of articulation on these awesome SH Figure Arts figures. And that works out really great for characters like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, because that means you're going to be able to get these guys into some really dynamic fighting poses. Now, just like we saw with the Red Ranger, Green Ranger here includes five pairs of interchangeable hands. Among those hands, he has a pair of closed fists, a pair of open hands, a pair of hands that are fit for holding onto his dragon dagger in the flute position, and a couple of gripping hands. Mixing and matching all of these hands on the little ball joints at his wrists is very easy to do, and this is going to allow you once again to display him in various ways, and will also help you display him with his included accessories. Now, as those accessories go, the Green Ranger here includes his famous Dragon Dagger. Once again, it has an amazing sculpt with a beautiful paint job. They did not skip out on any of the paint deco here. There's no solid colored weapons like in the old days. You can see this thing is fully decoed with the black and the green and the silver and the gold trim. It looks amazing. And you pair that up with those hands there that are meant to hold it in the flute pose, and you can get a really great pose where he's calling on the Dragon Zord for help. Or you can also use those gripping hands so that he can use the dagger in battle. And if you don't want him holding the dagger in his hands, he also has that little black sheath at his side where you can store the dagger when not in use. Now, if you're someone who prefers the evil version of the Green Ranger, then you're in luck. Because as his second accessory, he also includes the Sword of Darkness. It's another amazingly detailed weapon with a nice shiny silver paint job on the blade, and it's even got a little translucent red orb right there in the hilt. It holds perfectly in his gripping hands, and you can get some really great poses out of this amazingly detailed weapon. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the SH Figure Arts Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Ranger. I really love this figure. Now, I talked about how much I really enjoyed the Red Ranger and how it's my favorite version of a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figure so far. And this Green Ranger, of course, matches that. But since he was always my favorite Ranger design, I definitely love this figure just a little bit more. But man, he pairs up perfect with that Red Ranger if you've already got him. And if you're planning to get the rest of the team, which why wouldn't you, this is going to make for one heck of a cool Mighty Morphin Power Rangers display on your shelf. The Green Ranger is available online now at stores like BigBadToyStore.com. So, happy hunting, and until next time.